Yeah. Well, let's see what's next. We have 77 out of 103 gold stars. Customizer of the future. We just need to find the Zerg spaceport customizations, which who knows when that'll be. All right. Next up is Engine City. Listen to those buildings purr. All right. So this one is a little weird and complicated. So you know those like hot rod customization pieces we got in the uh, stunt park? Well, this is where they come into use. As uh, this mission, or Gold Star, requires us to pretty much customize uh, buildings in like the in hot rod theming. Oh my god! And this this is I, I just realized this is the flower shop, mind you. So if I saw a flower shop that looked like this, I'd probably go there. Uh, is there specific hot rod doors? I know there is, but I, I don't know exactly what they look like. There we go. Oh wait, nothing for the port. Uh, whoops. Alright, anything for the sides? Of course there is. Holy crap. Alright, how about the post office? Bam. Look at that engine. Could probably roast stuff for how much it's going to be flaming. May as well call this the roast office. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, another flag. Vroom vroom. Come get your mail. What the hotel? Realize there's going to be a lot of cars themed decorations in this. There's so many decorations for Pixar films like Monsters Inc., The Incredibles, and Finding Nemo, but like none of the other ones. And and, and Wally. Forgot to mention Wally. But like not much else. Like come on. I wanted. To, I mean, I guess these hot rod um, decorations are good enough. But, like, come on, why can't we have the Cozy Cone Motel from that movie or something? Or be able to drive a Lightning McQueen themed vehicle or something crazy. Bam, look at that. Now, those are some windows if I've ever seen it. Alright. Screw it, let's have everything in here hot rod themed. Apparently, that's what we're gonna need to do if we wanna. Do this gold star. Have a hot rod themed school, why don't you? Is it like add enough roof decorations or something? That's probably what it is, isn't it? I don't even have to decorate them hot rod. The roof accessory at all is all it is, isn't it? And I'm just doing all that for nothing. Let's find out. That one doesn't have a roof. How many of these have a roof? This one does. Your rainbow magic wand uh, of course. Alright, let me deal with this real quick. Right like the wind bullseye. Yeehaw. There we go! We got Engine City. Let's take a closer look at it. Engine City. You've customized five buildings. The engine roof was all it was. Great. I should have known. 
Alright, Engine of Destruction. Destroy everything in sight with the dragon. Alright. So more dragon stuff. Wherever the dragon shall be. We need him. May as well summon him. Via the toy store. So I think it's that we have to destroy a certain amount of things, if I remember correctly. So I remember just getting this, um, I remember just getting this gold star at random. So, we may as well just spam the button for now until something happens. You're laughing, dragon. You're, you're causing millions of dollars in property damage. And you're laughing. Man. What a co what a cold-blooded man. A dragon in this case. A remorseless fool. These pumpkins are actually a... I think they're a really good way to... Okay, I, can't, I guess we just can't destroy that one. They're a really good way to get this gold star done quick. Because they regrow instantly. Anyways, there's a Rex. Shoot Rex a couple times. Does Rex have a walking animation? He does not. Alright. This gargoyle is getting on my nerve. There we go. I guess Rex is just gonna do nothing. Okay. There we go. Engine of destruction. Okay. Look at that one. You destroyed 50 objects with the dragon. Yeah, a whole 50. Alright. Farmer in the well. Throw all the farm animals in the well. Did I try doing this before? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm probably thinking of the petting zoo. Um, Pictomatic mission. That's probably what I'm thinking of. So we have to go back into Slinky's area. Wow. And... Mess with his farm animals by throwing them all into the well to where they'll probably never be seen again. Like the chicken. Okay, apparently it's just, just come back out. Dang it. Man. I was hoping these would count as wishes. Okay. We just did it for chicken and pig, and apparently that counts for all animals. Nice. But yeah, that's that. That's that, Gold Star. We now have 80 out of 103. Green Thumb. Take care of your crops, and they'll take care of you. Alright, so pretty much just do more of this freaking crop stuff. And just listen to Slinky say the same thing for the 10,000th time. See what I mean about this being annoying? And I think it's six every single time. If I'm not mistaken. To six, yep. Yeah, at least it doesn't take long. Alright, protect the carrots. You know, carrots. Look at that, and it's got a face! My god. Do we even want to eat it anymore? Alright, anyways. About the tomatoes. They could have at least had different voice lines for Slinky to say. I mean, were they able... How long did they get 
Slinky's voice actor, Blake Clark, who voiced him in Toy Story 3 and 4, as opposed to the person who voiced him in Toy Story 1 and 2, Jim Varney. Who, reason why is because Jim Varney passed away in 2000, so of course they couldn't get him for 3, so they got a good friend of his, Blake Clark, instead. Which I actually think does a pretty decent job at it. That's Slinky. He's a pretty good replacement. And there we go, green thumb. Alright, up next. Having a ball. Hit everything in sight! I'm guessing with the uh, bouncy balls. So just, just throw, just throw Pixar balls at everyone. As if it's a game of dodgeball or something. Which I guess that would not make this the first Pixar franchise to attempt dodgeball. If you don't remember, in 2002, I think? It might have been three. But sometime around there. Uh, there was a Monsters, Inc. game for the GameCube. Uh, Monsters, Inc. Scream Arena. It's a multiplayer Monsters, Inc. game that involves dodgeball, of all things. Yeah. They make a licensed game based off Monsters, Inc., and they decided to tie it into dodgeball, which I don't think had anything to do with the movie. I've also heard that game isn't that good, so, eh. There we go, having a ball. Now with that one, you've hit 30 things with the ball. So not as much as Engine of Destruction, but... Alright, Jailer, put those bandits in their place. So I guess we just have to throw the bandits in jail enough times. Just doing my job. And he said it once again. Woody is just doing his job. Apparently. Okay, I don't care. There's one. There's another. Is that it? Hold up. Is that what I think it is? Oh. I thought I saw something else for a second. Rather, we got the propeller, dude. It's been affected by a ghost. Ghost gold. <laughs> okay. Dang it. I wanted something cool to happen. Uh-oh, looks like this alien's got texture issues. That's not good. Anyways. Here's the thing, the bandits will just randomly appear, so doing this right now probably is not a good idea. Because we'll just probably just, we'll probably just be waiting for a while until the bandits actually show up. So let's see what else we're able to do. Like, make a wish, throw someone in a well. All right. This guy, or gal. Go down there. Oh. Down here. There we go. Make a wish. Is that how the Make a Wish Foundation works? Probably not. Alright, so apparently there's Zerg bots attacking. Did, did Zerg give me information about that? Okay. 
Alright, so I believe the next gold star we need to get is Master Bug Collector. But, it's another one that just kind of deals with randomness because it has to do with enemies. This time with the Pixies. So, we might just do that. Alright. Master Ghost Sucker. You're not afraid of anything, especially when it comes to ghosts. I guess they weren't legally allowed to say... You ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> oh. Almost dropped my controller. Make your toys larger than life, so... Master Grower is just... We gotta grow things. With the goo. It always has to do with goo in the end. Doesn't it? What on earth? Well, that's concerning, Mr. Alien. But we need things to grow uh, bigger. Just to make sure that I, Sheriff Woody, am a master grower. Alright. You've made ten things bigger. Okay. Master Painter, paint the town red or whatever color you feel like. So, we have to have a whole bunch of buildings the same color. So we can paint the town red, we can paint the town black, we can paint it black. Let's just paint it red just for the heck of it. I see a black door and I want it to turn red. There we go. Is that town supposed to have money in his hand? What the heck? It's weird. Oh! Another bandit. There he is. Get over here. There we go. There's another one captured. Okay. Uh, that, that building's already painted red. Oh, all the... Clown aliens have messed up textures. That's weird. <laughs> Those clowns don't seem to be funny anymore. It's kind of scary. Alright. Did you guys hear that? What was that? Oh. We have another ghost. There we go. We got Master Ghost Sucker. That's nice. We have busted enough ghosts. And I must say... As soon as I... Release this guy. Come on. It's that busting makes me feel good. There, I said it. Alright, what's next? Oh wait, we still have to- <laughs> We still have to paint the town red. Forgot about that. Wanna paint it red. Oh my god, is it every single building? Or am I just doing something wrong? It's the barn, isn't it? It's because I haven't done the barn, isn't it? 
Let's find out. It's absolutely because I haven't done the barn yet. <laughs> God. Okay, so you'll probably know that whenever me and uh, No Sleep Bobby recorded the videos where we revisit the Disney Infinity toy box world they made as a kid. What? What is this? Anyways, uh, when we went through the uh, ones for the third game, uh, No Sleep Bobby was playing as Woody. And... We were just kind of making fun of all the screams of pain that Woody would make in that game. This game is not much different, apparently. Also, the carrot's still there. That's a little concerning. Alright. Now, the barn shall be red. Aren't most barns red? Bam! Master Painter. There we go. All right, so we have gotten the master painter. Yeah, you've painted 19 buildings. That's how many buildings there are in total, apparently. All right, master reanimator. So I'm pretty sure that's just, oh. Turn enough townspeople into ghosts, pretty much. Master Sculptor, the only strong, only the strong can free the townspeople from stone. So we gotta look out for any civilians turning the stone, but take the time to appreciate the small things. So pretty similar to the um, Master Grower, Gold Star. What else is there? Operation Well. Paratroopers want to explore the wells too. Oh, hey, another paratrooper thing. That's nice. Uh, porcupine, careful with the cactus. It likes to fight back. This one's super easy. I could probably do it in like five seconds. All I have to do is just have the cactus attack you by you shoulder charging into it and it attacking back, which is honestly pretty funny. There we go, porcupine. Okay. So... I don't even know what that noise was, and I don't want to know what that noise was, but let's just try to probably do the Arnhem Gold Star and then the goo gold star. So, this little fella. Watch this. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I'm not good at this. Also, I was just kind of in a rush, anyway. Alright, watch this. Bam! Operation Well. Alright, let's go do that shrinking one. Come on. Bam! Let's go shrink some things. Like the dragon. Oh, look at that. Can we ride him? <laughs> we can! Oh my god. I love the little sound it makes. <laughs> I've never done this before, by the way. I have never gone through the efforts of shrinking a dragon. This is amazing. Oh my god. I need to do this more often. Uh, <laughs> that's too funny. What happens if we shrink the tomato? Alright, now it's more of a realistic scale, even though it's still pretty big. Although I never checked if the tomato has a face, it probably does. 
Oh. Well, another piece of goo we could use. Mr. Cow, I would like you to shrink. And... Mr. Crate, I would like for you to shrink. Great. Alright. Mr. Key. Okay, we can't shrink the kiosk. No! No! There we go. Just want to pick this up and shrink this guy. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity to get the jailer, Gold Star. Anyways, let's go shrink Slinky. Perf Perfect. Okay. Anyways, let's go help out the uh, jailers. Or, no, we need to get the jailer, Gold Star. And we got a ghost over here. Perfect opportunity to do the um, Master Reanimator achievement. Or Gold Star. That's not what I wanted. Although we do have Ghost Horse, so we should be fine in that account. So where did that town person come from? Alright. I just want to pick these guys up and throw them into jail. Please, game, let me do it. Also, shut up, dude. God. There we go, we got Jailer. Got another gold star. Alright. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and save the stagecoach. And then... Probably do Master Reanimator or something. Something stupid like that. Oh, dang it. Alright, there we go. Save the stagecoach. Oh, we still get stuff for it. Interesting. Oh, the ghost is back. This dude shall be tiny. And this pig shall be tiny. And there we go, Master Shrinker. Look at that. Give us a whole bunch of coins. Alright, and we now have 90 out of 103 gold stars. We just need customization of the future, just getting all those Zerg. De decorations, needing to deal with the caterpillars, you need to deal with uh, your town is dead, literally, I don't, I don't even know what that means. Dealing with the uh, gargoyles, pro kicker, the townsfolk are getting a kick out of you. So another one involving kicking, got it. Zap a few more townspeople. Uh, saddle up and head out, right in the range. Space Explorer, Spooky Customizer, Triple Flusher. Jump right in, the water's fine, under the sea. Okay. Western Collector, Winter Circle, and that's it. So that's all the gold stars we have left to do. So yeah, that'll happen next time. I'll see you then.